Hello again and welcome to the last video in the series DB2 Web Services. Alright, so let's get started. Click on File, New, Website and choose ASP.NET Web Services. Give it a name, Demo Web Service 1. As you can see, a default web method is generated. Now let's go ahead and generate a web service from a DB2 stored procedure. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to be using the disp all emp stored procedure. Right click on the stored procedure and choose generate web methods. Now the various methods that are available for a web service are select, insert, update and delete. Depending upon your stored procedure type and the parameters for each operation that you have specified, it will generate the appropriate statements. Now in our case only the select statement is valid. So click on generate code. So now that our code has been generated we will need to run this stored procedure via our DB2 web service. So right click on your web service and set it as start page. Now let's go ahead and run this. We can choose OK for this. Right, so now we are presented with the select operation. Now let us go ahead and test our web service by clicking on the invoke button. Okay, cool. It has generated all the XML that we need, including the column and the respective rows. So that is how easy it is to create a DB2 web service. So thank you all for uh, viewing my videos. So if you have any feedback or suggestions regarding the Project to Learn DB2 Now video series, please don't hesitate to contact me via the channel DB2 forums and any other queries that you may have on DB2 with .NET application development. Happy DB2 programming! Thank you!